Mr. Mayor, a question. The, uh, you indicated that there was going to be uh, development charges. I wasn't sure whether the development charges that you indicated were additional to the development charges that currently apply? So thank you. So there are now development charges. There's a Development Charges Act in the province. Development Charges Act was started because the building industry lobbied the provincial government to have development charges. I think they regret that they now that they ever did that. But uh, all that the Development Charges Act is really spells out the typical infrastructure that municipalities would be responsible for. So that's the sewers, the water mains, the new roads, the sidewalks, the parks, the recreation centers, the fire halls, all the typical stuff that and so yes, there's development charges get applied to all new development. This special levy is above and beyond that. It's and my not question right. is, have you considered that this might get people to go elsewhere, the Vaughan, the Pickery, and other areas? Because we're suddenly charging five thousand dollars per property more. Now the developer isn't paying, he's gonna pass it on to the purchaser. And a purchaser, if I'm going to look at paying additional, I'm going to go somewhere else. So here's, uh, it's a great question. And I'm always amazed when I picked up uh, the real estate section in the Toronto Star and start to compare our homes with homes in other parts of the GTA. And I chuckle sometimes because I see the exact same home offered somewhere else at about thirty to $50,000 cheaper. And I always think, our land looks like their land on the other side of the 404. How come it's not the same value? There are a lot of factors that dictate the marketplace. And um, so I would say that location, amenities within a community, the jobs that are available in a community, the safety of the community, is a number of things that dictate why people choose and choose to pay 20, 30, or $50,000 more compared to somewhere else they could buy a home. I'm not concerned at all that an additional $5,000 charge on a new home is gonna chase away a new purchaser in our community. When there's 10,000 families that register for 1,500 lots or whatever it was, uh, what actually, I'll tell you what a concern is right now, that unless some of the areas that, uh, and not just in Markham, just across the GTA, get going with infrastructure to, to build these new communities. In about three or four years, for everything we've seen in house pricing, the pressure is going to continue to mount because there's not enough product out there for people to buy single-family homes and move into new communities. So no, I, I personally don't think $5,000 would chase anybody away. And I remember when I was buying my first house, uh, the prices were going up about $5,000 a week, not, not once, but a week. And I, mean, I said to my wife, we don't buy now, we're not going to be able to buy until, you know, whenever. So I, I don't, I personally don't think it's a concern, and I've, I've not heard that as a concern. And by the way, the assumption is it all gets passed on to the purchaser. And, and certainly, and there's no doubt that a builder would try to pass it all on. But you have to remember this. Just like I showed you the analogy about homes and cost in Markham and maybe somewhere else in the GTA and that, that difference, they are competing with all those other home builders. And so, yeah, they've got that $5,000 charge that they've had to pay, but they're also competing with the product in either other municipalities or even condominiums within the city. If I'm buying a condominium in Markham Center, my developers had to pay 4,500 bucks Somewhere else, the developers only had to pay 2000 yet they're still competing for that marketplace. Yeah, so I'm sure some of it will be passed, maybe all of it will be passed, but they still have to be competitive with each other to sell their, their products out in the market. That was a great question. Thank you.